Hey, welcome to another episode of Unique Adventures. We are headed out to another state park. Yes, it's another state park weekend. We are going to be out at Tuano State Park right outside of Belfair. The one thing that we're going to be running into this weekend, obviously it's a little sunny right now, but it is supposed to rain this weekend. Are we going to be able to find something to do? Are we going to be stuck in our trailer all weekend long? So stay tuned. But we have arrived. Uh, we got a little messed up coming into the park uh, tonight. Uh, when you come into Tuano, Tuano, it's it's a little weird. Like the turn in isn't really marked very well. We missed it. We had to drive five miles the wrong direction to come back in. And then on top of that, we get to our site. We're in site nine this weekend, and. When we went to go pull into here, it looked like it was going to be easy peasy, but it was probably one of the most challenging placements uh, we have done. It took about 15, 20 minutes to get our rig backed in. As you can see in the little side shot here, uh, it was it was nuts. <laughs> but you know, the, the big thing is, is that we're here, we made it. A uh, lot, of, lot of tree covering here, but I do want to show you uh, the cool nugget of this camp spot. But look at that. This tree goes all the way up and it's got this exposed root at the bottom. That's pretty freaking sweet. Uh, so we'll get some better shots of that tomorrow. Uh, like I said, a little too dark tonight to uh, take much footage. Uh, we're gonna try to get this propane fire pit set up. Um, we still are in a burn ban, but uh, propane pits are still legit. So we're gonna get that propane pit set up. But hopefully tomorrow we'll get to go down to the state park, um, check out the water. I was really bummed. We got here and as we're driving in, gorgeous sunset the sunset would have been epic if we would have been here like an hour or two in advance oh my gosh it would have been great on the water but there's always tomorrow so we're gonna hope that uh, tomorrow the weather plays out well enough hopefully tomorrow we'll get to go down to the water a little bit and check that out so stay tuned for that Nothing better than a little hot chocolate on a fall morning. It's one of the few things that I enjoy about fall weather is, um, or even spring weather, is about getting back to having some hot cocoa in the morning. Kind of a little treat. Um, we don't drink coffee. Um, me or my wife, we are like probably the only people in Washington that don't drink coffee. Nice uh, cup of hot chocolate on a, you know, fall morning can't beat it the, the crazy thing is we got here really late last night right and so we, it took us a while to set up because <laughs> these sites are really crammed in here and the angles just aren't right um but uh so i didn't get to see like a lot of the surroundings when we got here so my buddy he is in t12 and my my cousin is in t13 so they got side to side sites this site is actually really good not riverfront property but creek front property <laughs> yes yeah creek front i mean and these trees here are all mossy and overgrown it looks rustic it looks like if you were going to put pacific northwest in a picture i think this would be it on the back side of the site that is amazing we got a nice little creek back here. Right behind your camp spot. And of course, you know, we're gonna be going around, we're gonna be doing that ruckus review for you. We're gonna put that in the review as well. But do mind you, we're 30 feet long. Trying to get into some of these spots, it is not easy down here. It's not for, you know, beginners with 30 foot trailers. Uh, 20 foot trailers would have a lot more success down here. 30 feet in some of these spots, it's really tight. This is an older park. It definitely makes it a little bit more challenging to park, but if you can get in here, I I am totally digging this creek. I love having running water. I love getting to see that. And 
we're at a state park and you can back right up to it that's just that's just amazing all right so we're out hiking this trail i think it's two and a half miles that it uh goes around uh, Toronto State Park. This is actually a pretty cool trail. A little bit of elevation change. I think like 600 feet is what it said. But it's a nice little, nice little workout. The rain is still yet to uh, grace us with its presence yet. We're actually gonna have a pretty dry weekend and we didn't think we were going to. This trail with this, the moss on the limbs and all the green and the colors turning because of uh, you know it being fall now this is a nice little hike there's a lot of stuff to look at a lot of stuff to check out so yeah uh let's keep uh let's keep working on this hike One of the best parts about being on uh this trail is uh you can listen nothing Total silence out here. This is a nice quiet hike. I'm not sure what it would be like in the summertime. Very peaceful, for sure. So we're gonna continue on. All right, everybody, we have made it to the end of our trail. Uh, the trails here are awesome. There's a lot to, to explore. There's a lot going on. We didn't quite make it the whole way. Probably made it about halfway up. There is a lot of different things to see out there. A couple of spots where you can get down to the creek. Uh, definitely, definitely a good hike. And it wasn't too hard that, you know, the average Joe person couldn't do it either. So if you're here at Tuana State Park, make sure you check out those, uh, those trails. Uh, we went through our little rain spell. The rain came in for just about what we thought, a couple hours, and now the sun is starting to come up. We hope that this is gonna stick out so here in just a little while we can go down to the, um, to the beach part of the state park and check that out. But until then, we're gonna go try to get some uh, pizza going on the black zone here. We're gonna try this out. My brother-in-law said, uh, Tostino pizzas on the Blackstone are a thing. So let's go check it out. We've gotten done with our Blackstone Tostino's pizza here. You can see it here. Uh, what we did was we left it flat for a little bit. We folded it over, made like a little pizza taco wrap I don't even know what the heck you want to call it but we did that and it put this nice crust on there and uh, still gooey on the inside uh, and then cut it up into quarters with the with the blackstone spatula and this is actually pretty good I ain't even gonna lie um, especially for a quick little meal or something like that like a little lunch or something you just throw it on there it takes like five or ten minutes and you're freaking ready to go and it doesn't really make much of a mess on the blackstone you know just put a little bit of oil down throw it down and you're good to go so tostino's pizza is on the blackstone that's where it's at all right so the state park we're in the camping area right now but if you cross the street you can go down to the actual state park which actually puts you on the beach on the water and it's getting close to sunset not quite sunset yet but we are gonna go down and go check out this uh, this beach. We're gonna cross the street and there's a little sidewalk for us to cross at. And we're gonna go check on the other side of the state park. So we've made it, we're now in Tuana State Park. Got a bunch of little barbecue spots here, places you can enjoy the the beach and the, the canal. And now we're gonna go down and go check out this water.
sure how this audio is going, but it is awful, awful windy down here. Uh, we're definitely having a good time. We really anticipated this weekend having a bunch of junk weather, and it really has ended up being a pretty pleasant weekend, you know. Like we always say, we'll put up with a couple hours of rain for, you know, the rest of it to be nice. So you know, that's kind of what you got to do here in the Pacific Northwest. If you want to be out camping and exploring and stuff, you just got to take the good with the bad. We're just going to keep enjoying, you know, this beach here for a little bit. and uh, Some really big oyster shells that are stuck together. Kind of cool. Another big one. And then I found... It's really teeny tiny shells. And those are kind of cool. Oh yeah. Kind of like a kid, I just like to, you know, look around on the beach, see what I can find. And... Josh just found our, our new can spot. That big green patch. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, Have sites right down here on the water. Buddy, this is going to wrap up another video here at Unique Adventures. We had an amazing time out here at Tuana State Park. We went and checked out the, the beach side. We went and did the trails. We had a good time. I think it's definitely a place I think we'd come back to. And the weather ended up uh, being really great pretty much the whole weekend. And looking at the weather report, it didn't look like it was going to be any part of anything good. So you never know. You just kind of you know ride it out and take the good with the bad but uh make sure if you got value out of this content if you're excited about the things that we're doing make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button in the bottom corner of the screen here so you don't miss any of our episodes we appreciate all the support and we'll see you in the next video